Okay, cat watch. There's a cat. That's Bear. She's hanging out on the post. So there's a cat there. Here you go. Uh, let's let's discuss one of the um, topics I was asked to discuss. And it's interesting. Because we're, of course, looking forward to the Seattle... Um, I was going to say totems, but that hasn't been confirmed yet. Seattle likely gets confirmed when the playoffs are over. As provisional based on renovating the, the, the arena. The arena should be renovated starting in October. And it should be set to open two, two years later. And all the fun starts from there. But let's look back to 1997. So the NHL was expanding. This is before they announced Nashville would get a team. Before Minnesota and Columbus got teams. Before Atlanta got a team. Let's talk about Hampton Roads. Because Hampton Roads was kind of smart. They named a team before they were an expansion team. Hampton Roads Rhinos. And they had Rocky the Rhino. Spelled thusly. Which is great. And um, it didn't happen. Uh, George Shin, who was the owner of the Charlotte Hornets, uh, was behind the bid. And the idea was, we're going to build a brand new arena. We're going to go and get the funding we need, which was $143 million. It's going to see 20,000 people. And Hampton Roads is going to be in. West Virginia is going to have a team in the NHL. Um uh, and and it's interesting because they 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 made some mistakes along the way that gave the NHL an out. So these guys were in one of the original. Uh, they were they were in the first first tier of bidders, and the NHL said no to them. They didn't drop out. Uh, they didn't make it to the next level. Um, and the NHL simply told them, "There's already too many teams on the East Coast. We don't want to splinter the market further." Think about where they ended up expanding to anyways. Anyways. Um, and, and that it was too small a market. That Hampton Roads could not support an NHL team. They didn't feel that it could. And sadly, they had a season ticket drive, which over a period of five weeks drew 5,000 tickets. And then over the next 10 weeks drew 700. 5,700 season tickets. Think about what Seattle did. They sold a million and a half in like 10 minutes. Like... Seattle got it, and they, they sold out. When Winnipeg was getting the Jets back, they sold their tickets right away for years in advance. And Hampton Roads didn't have that enthusiasm. Um, and then tax funding fell through. So they, they go to the representatives, and they're like, hey, we need some help to get this arena built. And basically, legislators said, that's great. We would love to give you this arena, and we'd love to help you get a team, but we can't sell that to the voters. We can't sell that to the taxpayers that we're going to pay to bring in a hockey team so we can get a professional franchise in here when they already have a tax burden. And and I, I get it. And we're seeing that with Calgary, too. There's, there's some of that feeling there as well. That uh, certain government uh, bodies, and not every government is like this some of them are like take our money i watched a a, a glendale uh, city city council and that was on of course when there was talk of arizona moving and I, my jaw dropped while i watched it. i'm like really that's it um they just take our money uh and and there were some very interesting arguments for and against keeping the arizona coyotes in arizona that were presented at that glendale council meeting this never got to that stage this was basically shut down on the spot, and it is, it is according to the article I'm reading from 1997, and I'm willing to say this still, largest area in the U.S. without a sports team. No professional sports team. They had the Hampton Roads Admirals and the ECHL. I know um, there's going to be people come in and say, well, they've had ECHL, they've had this, they've had that. I know. We're talking like pro, on TV, making money, a little bit higher up. Um, like NHL, NBA, Major League Baseball, NFL. And it's too bad on, on, a, on one level that the NHL didn't give them a chance, and yet on another, I understand it. That season ticket drive, that scares me. We don't want a Cleveland. We don't want a Kansas City where the city gets a team and then doesn't support it. And uh, that, that does happen, or it used to. 
And the NHL seems to be more careful about it. Um, afterwards, when asked, uh, George Shin did not re uh, regret pursuing an NHL team. And when they asked him, "Would you? do you think it would have been more fruitful to go after the NBA? He said no. He's probably right on that one too. So there you go. That time that Hampton Roads tried to get in the NHL and the NHL said no. So... This is for fans of, of the channel in that area. The underserved hockey fans across the United States. There's a lot of them. Um, I see it every time I talk about hockey coverage in the United States. People are like, yeah, I don't get to see hockey. I get it. And uh, I, I I agree. This was a request, so I thought, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw that out there. And uh, there you go. Hampton Roads Rhinos. A team that could have been kind of fun to cheer for. And, and and definitely a mascot that we all could have agreed with. You have Oily the Oil Can and Rocky the Rhino. They could have hung out together. Um, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the proper mascots. Um, sort of like the Canucks wanting Finn to be at the, the draft lottery. Might as well have sent Finn. All right. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you're just browsing your way through. You just happen upon this video. And to those in Hampton Roads, may you never give up hope that someday... There may be an NHL team. And there are other cities that are talked about as well in, in articles I've read on this, um, including Milwaukee, uh, Cleveland, other cities that have been trying to get NHL and have been told no. So it, it, it's an interesting thing because the NHL is going to be 32 teams when they get Seattle. And I really honestly don't know that they're going to stop at 32. I think expansion money is too tempting. And I know people are going to be like, you're watering the league down too much. I agree, but this is the National Hockey League. They had no problem watering the league down in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. They're starting all over again. <coughs> Likely not Hampton Roads. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.